What's going on? This is Cash Kid S, and you're watching a 416 interview. First thing I want to ask you is, what made you start creating music, man? For me, uh, one of the main reasons, um, honestly, I've been around music ever since I was young. So I've always kind of been around, you know, music videos and photo shoots and all that. You know, my father was around in the business, so, you know, on the local level. So I always wanted to, you know, create music. I was always freestyling with my homies. So when I got, when I got to high school, I kind of took it serious because I'm like, you know, this is something I'm good at. And I really, you know, I really had a passion for it. So I'm, I'm like, you know what, let me go 100%. And um, to be honest, like the main, the main reason that I really started was because I'm like, yo, if I don't rap, I actually have no other way of like, I don't know what I'm going to do after high school. Like, I don't know where my life's going to go. Like, it really saved me. So, you know, I feel like that's the main reason why I really wanted to start creating music for real. You said your dad was one of the main influences. Uh, what was he doing? Was he recording as well? Um, no, nah, but he was like doing like all the behind the scenes stuff, you know, like managing artists, executive producing. I was always around, you know, I was always around that type of stuff. But, you know, like I was just kind of, you know, doing my, you know, I was being a kid. So, you know, I didn't really think about, you know, taking it serious until I really got older, like 11th grade, 12th grade. And then that's when I kind of started going 100% with it. Hi, hi, yo! Another thing, you got no backup plan, bro? Music and nothing? You're all in, eh? I got, a, I got a lot of shit going on right now, but you know, like obviously, I wanna, you know, put my own to music eventually. You know, get my life together, and then, you know, once I, once I go, you know, once I have the money, once I have all the resources, you know, it's really, you know, go time for me, you know, from then on. When was like the first instance of like you recording? So my first time, I'm going to be completely real with you, dog. Like, my first time was in my room, like, on Bad Lab. Like, no cap. Literally, like, my phone and my Apple earbuds. Like, I made one song. I was just freestyling that whole. I'm like, yo, this shit kind of fun. Like, this shit kind of hard. And then I just kept doing that for, like, months and months and months. So I just kept recording on my phone. And then the first time I hopped in a real studio was, like, last January. So, like january of 2023 so i've only been in the studio for like a year and a half do you like the studio or do you live rather like record at home honestly bro like recording in the studio is like way more like i'm way more like you know what i'm saying like on like pressure to make the time so i honestly just prefer like being at my crib so i can really perfect everything but i didn't have the studio in my room so i was just doing the best i had with like you know my my Apple earbuds and my phone and shit, but I put a lot of work and time into my craft. So, but honestly, the studio, you know, linking up with the engineers, we're perfecting my craft in there on a more professional level is, you know, I, I like it too, but I'd rather have my shit at the crib. Let's talk about your name, fam. Cash Kid. How do you say it? Cash Kid.S or just Cash Kid? Honestly, just Cash Kid S. Like, you know, I just say it just one, one time. What's behind it, bro? So honestly, yo, like it was my Instagram handle for like a solid minute before I even started rapping. So it, it was really like the cash kid dot S and then like the S part is like my real name. So I added like the start, the first letter of my real name to the end of cash kid. But niggas been calling me cash kid since I was like, you know, 16. So I just kind of been rolling with it since. Why'd you make it your Instagram handle? It just sounded cool or something? Bro, honestly, it's just like, I love getting money. I love the hustle. You know what I'm saying? I love to get it in, you know? I love to just, you know, make sure I'm financially stable. So. I just kind of use that to represent myself, you know, like hustle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get on your shit, you know? You got to get it in this world. You got to make your way in this world. So that's really what it represents. Let's move on to creative process, bro. How do you create music? For me, it gets it gets pretty complex. But, like, honestly, like, my first step, bro, is, like, always a freestyle. My go-to is always a freestyle. Like, honestly, like, sometimes when I'm in my zone, I, everything just comes straight off the door. But in terms of writing, I like to just kind of honestly write, you know, a lot of my hooks, maybe freestyle some of it later, or I just write the full thing and I just follow it to a T. So, you know, I just really just be, it really, it varies on, on the vibe, you know? So I write before the studio. Sometimes I write in the studio. I freestyle in the studio. So I really just try to do it all. And then I know you said you're a freestyler fan. Like, you don't write at all? No, I'd I be, I be writing a lot of my shit, but... You know what I'm saying? A lot of the shit that people might might hear, you know, unreleased or released, some of it was freestyle, believe it or not. So I really just be going in that bitch having fun for real and just kind of just making whatever. 
you don't create beats or anything like that, do you? Uh, I want to. I want to get into that shit. But right now, just you know, just a straight you know artist or whatever. When you get beats from like producers and shit, like how picky are you when it comes to it? I'm very, very big on the beat selection. Like a part that's also a part of my creative process. Like I'm really like every day I'm looking for beats because like I want my production to be like the first thing you notice because you know the production sets the bass, sets the tone. So. You know, like, I be getting beats from, you know, certain producers. I be hitting them up. I be going on YouTube. I be looking for my shit. But I be just really, like, you know, very specific on the beats that I use. All right. And then staying on your music, bro, you cited um, Juice World, G Herbo, Polo G, Lil Wayne, and Drake as inspirations. How exactly did they inspire you? And, like, yeah. Um, Some of the first rap music I heard was from drake and wayne so just them being in the game for so long and and stamping their name in the game i've I've heard of their music since you know i was i was a kid you know since forever so you know especially drake being from canada like that nigga's been like one of the top inspirations for me and lil wayne as well i think he's the best rapper of all time so i look up to him and in terms of like the younger dudes you mentioned polo herbo juice honestly yo like when I really started getting into rap music as I got older, those guys really helped me through some tough times, like just listening to their music. So like the person behind the music, I also just looked up to them and what they represent. So I take a lot of inspiration from them, even the way they rap. Like, you know, those are like definitely like three of my top favorite rappers right now. I wanted to ask you, like, other than like you looking up to them and stuff, did they inspire you in any way? Like, the way you create music or the way your music be sounding? For sure. Um, In terms of, uh, you know, like Drake and Wayne, they brought that new swag. They brought that different shit to the new gen, the modern era. You know, the melodies, you know, Drake specifically, you know, being so versatile. I like to be versatile as well. And, um, you know, like Herbo, Juice, Polo, you know, all of those guys, you know, they be talking on that, you know, the mental health. They be talking about going through the struggle. They be talking that real shit. So I be trying to incorporate that in my music as well and really be like kind of like a message for the youth or for anybody that's going through it. Because, you know, not everybody wants to hear that that, that crash out shit all the time, that, that drill shit. You know, people want to hear some real shit to get through some hard times. So yeah, that's for sure. Well, who would your dream club be that you think you can get within like the next two, three years? Next two, three years? um. Honestly, bro, like, the biggest artist right now for me, like, I think next up is Huncho. Huncho is definitely, I feel like I can, you know, me and him can do some shit together for sure. That Atlanta sound is something that I really fuck with. Um, the next person, um, Rio the Young OG. Um, you know, that Detroit Flint, that wave is going crazy. And I've been on that way before, like, a lot of people in my area are just, I've been on that shit for a minute, so. Those two guys in the next two, three years are definitely some guys I want to get a song in with. What genre would you like put your music in? How would you describe your music, you know? Um, I would describe my music, uh, melodic trap music, you know? I'm using majorly, you know, trap beats, but I'm adding my own melodic flair to it. So, you know, I just, I kind of like to put it underneath that category just to, you know, be general. But, you know, my music is, it's, you know, you can come to my music and find all types of vibes, all types of sounds, you know, different types of sounds. You know, I feel like my flow is very unique and unorthodox. So you're going to get something different every time you listen to my music. For sure. Bro, you've been creating music for a while now, bro. What kind of advice do you got for people trying to get into the music industry? Bro, honestly, bro, the first thing is, is the confidence and believing in yourself. You know, if you... You don't think you can even get better. How are you going to improve? How are you going to get to the levels you want to get to if you don't have that self-confidence? You know, that's very important because I struggled with that very early on. And once I just settled into my own, I got better and I started just not giving a fuck about what people say. So just don't listen to the noise. Don't listen to the critique because everyone's going to have to start somewhere. And I'm not at a big level, but I'll tell you, like, I've drastically improved from when I started wanting to make music and drop music until now. So that's that's very key. I know you said you're from Saga, bro. Did like what other are uh, Miss Saga artists are you fucking with right now? Um honestly, bro, 
I'm gonna shout out the homies, you know what I'm saying? Um my dog, well he's he's not from Mississauga, but he's from the Peel region. My dog, um, New Wave MJ. Um there's other artists in the city, uh Sleazy Bands, NK2 Keezy. Um, so those are those are some tough guys. I've been, you know, I've been bumped. Oh, Rando number six as well. He's really tough. So, you know, those guys are really next up in the city for real. Well, what are some new projects you got coming out? What you got what you got for people? Uh, I got a lot of singles dropping, you know, you're gonna see a lot of different singles, um, a lot of new visuals coming out. So I'm focusing on that and then also an EP probably at the end of the year, you know, drop, you know, probably four to five songs. And um, we're gonna keep going after that. So that's what I got planned for the next little while. I see shit up in my life and niggas can't relate. I seen everyone just leave my life in front of my eyes. You have a walk up and just question about your afterlife.